Okay, well, look what showed up. Some uh, Monroe Air Shocks for the car. What we're going to do is put these on and see if we can get the car sitting a little closer to level here. Uh, I've got the coilovers in the front and it's sitting a little lower in the back and I just want to bring that up so that the car sits level. And this really is going to help my uh, ground clearance situation that I was running into. Should be make the car much more drivable. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. Here, got the nut up above there. Mm, yeah, I might be better off pulling the tires to get to the nut on top, but we'll have to look into that. Yeah, that's nice and dry. was tight. I can fit it on this way. Okay, now. And let's see if we can just pull that one out. And get that off. There we go. Okay. Got the nut off. Get the washers. Put the hardware up here out of the way. Along with the tools we don't need. And let's see if we can... Push on that. Yeah, it's coming out. Here's the bottom. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. Mm. 
Yeah. It's pretty wild. a different size nut. Got the nut washers. this to push on that I think Well, it's a kind of tough shape, isn't it? Okay, that one's out. These are still, still in good shape. Actually, let's tighten this back up again. I think I can reach it just fine through the top of the wheel opening here. I won't even have to take off the tire. Well, 
No, for running plumbing and stuff like that. Well, yeah, let's let's see what happens. Gee, I may have to take it off, but for the moment not. Okay, I can see where this is going. See what our shocks look like here. Got hardware, hardware, and a shock. Interesting. Lock washer, washer, and nut, and bolt. Okay, let's go in.
far off. Oh, right there. Better? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I think I got it started. Yeah. I suppose now I boogered up the threads on the bolt. Now, go. Well, okay. And looks good. Get that and that. Tight. On the bottom. That ain't going anywhere.
There I went my light. Come here. Okay, let's come in from this side. Oh, yeah, that's why I had that jacked up so high. Made getting the shock in a lot easier. Yowzer. Hmm. Pry bar of some kind. It's tricky. Yeah. Just like that. Oops, sorry. Flat washer, lock washer, and nut. That's tight. Actually pull that up. <clears throat> oh, really? Oh. 
Uh, yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. Loosen it up. Let the rubber expand enough to get my wrench out. Check it up a little more. Come on, damn it there. Okay close and tight now I can drop the darn car down see what I have to do about the airlines Okay, where do I want to put my T? Probably right up. Looks like I have a quarter inch hole right there. Let's put the T right there. Got a couple. Yeah, let's see. Drill one more hole over there. Yeah. That sounds like a plan. I got anything up behind there? Yeah. There's a wire there. Lift that up out of there. Let's just put a put a hole right there. Oh, let's plug it in. First, okay. Let's put a hose clamp. get junk in my eyes. 
let's just put on the, the cheaters for now. I'll be taking a shower. Okay. Put that wire back up under there. putting them in the wrong way for crying out loud there okay snap the T in ah crap I suppose they don't like popping out again do they should have gone to the other. No, they don't. Shoot. Darn it. Well, I know that snapped that one in there. Bring that one across. Of the parking brake cables over to the there. Pop this one in this hole right here, like that. Forget that one. Snap this one into place. Okay. And bring this back around. Long enough to go into this one. Right there. Okay, that one's in, that one's in. Let's route this one. Need to go up and over. That's the top of the gas tank. I think it should work if I can get it. There, yeah, here it is up here. Okay, good. I think we're done back here. Let's uh, 
Brought it under that wiring harness hook right there. Oh, come on. Don't be that way. Now, the question becomes, where do I want to put my air filler? Okay, got the hoses in. Pretty sure that ain't going anywhere. There's 30 PSI. Looks good. Got what I needed. Okay, so there's the shocks installed with about uh, 20, 25 PSI. And I like to, brought it up a little. Got a little more, little more gap here. Um, but yeah, the car sits Definitely sits a little more level. And uh, overall it uh, went pretty good. I can, uh, eh, it's dark in under here. Let me see what I can do about getting a light. 
Okay, there's the shock. Sitting up in there. Got it uh, in position, and the one over there. You can kind of see it there. All bolted in, and I ran my line rather than have it outside of the car. I just put the fitting. Alright. Yeah, let me grab the light again. There. That's where my my air fitting is, right inside the trunk on the side. So I can certainly get to it and uh, make sure that it's got the, the pressure and everything that it needs. There. Okay. Yep. So that's uh, a wrap on that project.